Hey everybody, Nickatrono here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is video number 26 in my video progress series on Dion's Saudade number 3. So what we just heard was the my first performance of the finale section of the piece. And, uh, you know, really my biggest issue with that performance and what sort of informed my practice was just to continue on with what I worked on in the last video. You can take a look and see uh, what I talked about there. But mainly it was about clearing up and solidifying, um, especially the last half uh, of the piece. So just to go over quickly my process of working on this piece, um, I am starting with the end of the fast section and working my way backwards. Uh, and that's sort of how I've been practicing this, which means that the front part of the piece isn't getting a lot of uh, time, but I don't feel um, that that is a major issue. I think what I'm going to do is pick out some areas that I consistently have to take a look at and uh, make sure that I spend a little bit of time on each of those. For instance, the transition from this part into that part just, I think, needs a little bit of um, just a few repetitions just to make sure that that's solid. The same thing is in this section. To that section. Uh, so those are probably areas that I'm going to isolate. I'll probably spend about 10 minutes total working on issues like that. Um, it's mainly in those areas, those transitional areas uh, that I'm having big problems. There's also um, this part here. That part as it's getting at that speed out uh, 240 to the 16th note or actually in this case it's the eighth note um it's getting a little awkward in the fingers so some slow practice and drilling out would be really good on that other than that it's just a matter of reinforcing the section and doing slow and fast practice um something that i think i may alter uh coming up on my next practice session on this uh, in the next week, this is just sort of something stream of conscious uh, thought, is that the way that I did it this practice session is that I would do it three times at half speed, really making sure my articulation and preparation were all there and working really well. And then I would do it uh, at least one time, sometimes two or three times fast to make sure it's sort of solid. I've talked about this before in previous uh, videos about not practicing so much at your fastest speed because you kind of get burnt out and tired and I kind of was feeling that here now part of that might be just the speed uh that you know this is kind of really cooking and you know things are going on uh and as I'm breaking down those smaller sections I'm then expanding those sections and going through at the fast pace so what I think I may do is I might chunk off larger sections um, and work on them slowly, do a lot of slow practice, making sure that things are working. Um, maybe do one or two test tests at speed, but focus mainly on the slow practice so that way I don't um, just tire out myself as I'm trying to play this. Uh, because the, the fast repetitions do add up as I'm chaining this together and working on it overall i thought that was pretty i thought i was pretty happy with that performance some things that needed to be neatened up one thing rhythmically that i had noticed and this is in the lento section towards the end is really making sure there's a difference between the eighth note 16th note rhythm um sort of this one e and a two e and versus uh this thing um four and a one just making sure that those uh, eighth note triplets are broad enough. Um, and I think that's just a little bit, again, just some counting. So those are all little neaten up, button up issues that I'm going to take care of, I think, with just like 10 minutes of practice 
again rotating that stuff through and then uh, working on the endurance and the speed of this going forward. Um, so in that first performance, you'll notice that, you know, I had talked about in the last video changing fingering on the, towards the end of the fast section. And that fingering was not there when I went to go play it at tempo. It wasn't reliable. Uh, I just drilled it out some more. I know that that fingering is going to work. It's just a matter of, you know, for 20 some odd, uh, days now I've been working one fingering and now I'm changing that to another fingering. Um, other than that, it was pretty straightforward, uh, you know, really emphasizing some dynamic work, really making sure that what's on the page is really what I'm playing. I'm really, you know, just, there's a lot of dynamics and a lot of directions that Dion's has, uh, given in this. And I'm just trying to make that work. Something else that I sort of not necessarily struggled with, but worked on was the strumming. Oh, let's back up a little bit so you can see my hand. So fast it's uh, what I'm finding is that the arm sort of locks up a little bit in that now I'm doing double down strums um, but my my thinking is that I think it's just I'm playing a lot at tempo even though proportionally it's not nearly as much as I'm practicing slowly uh, so I think I'm gonna uh, save back that and also within the strumming just really See from tightening up especially here um so let's take a listen to that final performance and then we'll meet back Thank you. 
so there was the final performance. I thought that overall was um, much better than the first one. There are some issues with the accuracy of the first page, especially uh, just consistency wise. Uh, now this practice versus my practice before uh, in this week, I got way further along in the piece practice wise than I did uh, last time I practiced this section. Uh, in fact, probably um, four more lines. So I had worked on about three lines and I added four more lines uh, this practice session. So I have a feeling that as I keep working myself backwards, that that is that I'll get to that section and work out those issues. Um, but for me right now, it's about solidifying that ending and really making sure that that ending um, is working itself out, especially this part. Especially that part and uh, this thing. That's still a little funky and a little inconsistent. I spent, I would probably say half of my time just on that part going between slow slow and fast practice there so um it's so i so i think that as i keep practicing and as i keep coming into that section uh i don't think i know that i'll be working myself backwards and backwards uh more so i just have to hold myself to not overdo it i think i think that was a big thing uh and then also something that i noticed especially in the slow section in the slow practice rather um trying to trigger the release of the muscles here in the forearm. Um, so in my slow practice, uh, I might do, I might start with some really slow repetitions. And not even really worry about rhythm. just really focus on relaxing that part of my arm. In my 27th video, I think that's right. In my 27th video, uh, I'm going to do a recap uh, performance of the piece and um, talk about sort of what I'm going to do going forward, getting ready for my uh, June 30th live stream performance of this piece. So if you've made it to the end of this video, uh, thanks again for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please think about subscribing to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification button so that way you get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks again everyone for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.